Here we are going to discuss simplifying powers of i. Now we know that i squared equals negative 1, but what about i to the 7th? Or i to the 52? Or i to the 2,348,009? Alright, let's slow down for a second. Let's just start with i to the first power. Well, i to the first power, that's going to be i. Easy enough. Multiplying one more i in gives us i squared. That's going to be negative 1 like we've talked about before. Multiplying one more i gives us i cubed. That's going to be negative 1 times i or negative i. Let's keep on rolling. Here we've got i to the fourth. That'll give us negative 1 times i times i or times i squared which we know i squared is going to be negative 1, so we'll get negative 1 times negative 1, or just 1. How about adding another one, i to the 5th? That's going to give us 1 times i, which is just going to be i. i to the 6th, that's going to be i times i, which is negative 1. Ah, I'm sensing something here. Let's look back at where we started. We started with i, negative 1, negative i, 1. Since 1 times anything is itself, that brings us back to i, negative 1, and I'm sensing a pattern here. If we can see that if we go to i to the 7th, we're going to end up back at negative i. And you could see as many i's as you could multiply, you're going to keep going through this cycle. i, negative 1, negative i, 1. i, negative 1, negative i. Then i to the 8 is back to 1. We can use this pattern to help us simplify large powers of i. Notice that every fourth i is going to simplify to 1. If we go to, through the cycle once more from i to the 8th, 4 more will bring us i to the 12th, i9, i10, i11, i12, and i to the 12th we know is going to equal 1. It's the same thing for i to the 16th, i to the 20th, or even i to the 100th. Anytime you have a power that is a multiple of 4, it's going to simplify to 1. Alright, that's all nice and dandy, but what if we have a power that is not a multiple of 4, like i to the 13th? Let's go ahead and break this into i to the 12th times i to the 1. This is the same thing as i to the 13th, but since we have this i to the 12th here, which we know is equal to 1, since it's a power that is a multiple of 4, that would just be 1 times this i to the 1, which is just i, and that's going to simplify to i. I got the power! What about i to the 103? Well, let's go ahead and break that down. I've changed it to i to the 100 times i to the 3. Since 100 is a multiple of 4, that enables me to exchange 1 for that value. That's just going to be 1 times i to the 3, and I know that i to the 3rd power, based on that pattern we used before, is going to be negative i. That's 1 times negative i, simplifies to negative i. If you have some difficulty in knowing how to break this down into a power that has a multiple of 4, you can always just divide your exponent by 4. Doing that, we'll get 58 divided by 4, and I'm just going to go ahead and go through my division process. 1, subtract the 4, that brings me down to an 18. 4 can go into 16 4 times. That's going to bring me to 16 here, minus 2, and I have 14 with a remainder of 2. What this 14 remainder 2 tells me is that I'm going to go through my cycle of 4 14 times, leaving me with 1. So this 14 times leaves me with 1. And then my remainder of 2 is leaving me with an i squared. This i squared is what's important because we're just going to have 1 times i squared, which is going to leave us with i squared, which going back to our pattern, we can see i squared and what we know is negative 1. So this i to the 58 can simplify to negative 1. If you feel confident in simplifying these without doing division, that's totally fine. But if you have a little trouble with simplifying and finding out what is a power of 4 and what's not, this is always a good method to be sure. Divide your power by 4 and use that remainder to determine what it's going to simplify to.